was it to finally get, you know, really play meaningful snaps and get out on that, you know, field and score a score the touchdown? Yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel great. Um, I mean, obviously, anyway, like I said last week, uh, scoring and helping contribute to the team, um, and like you said, meaningful uh, in meaningful ways is always great anyway. So yeah, I felt great to you know go do go do what I've been working towards. Harburg was saying uh, you guys have been thrown with each other since you were like sophomore to juniors in high school or seven on seven yeah. stuff. I mean, how much does that that just connection help in certain moments? Shoot, I mean more than you know. I mean that helps a lot, and then just the fact that we've lived together for three years until a few months ago we just finally moved out of each like we all just kind of parted ways but we have that connection and we have that trust and uh bond built already um so it's just everything's there we just gotta go kind of light up the show you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what we did did you think he was uh throwing it away the third and 15 that was such a big play where you, you came down with it what, what was your what were you seeing on that play again uh i i, I was just trying to make a play um uh, he threw it and he said that he uh, kind of just seen me come out of nowhere and threw it a little bit out of bounds where I could get it. So that's what I did. And, uh, you know, it was a big uh, turning point, I felt like, it, the momentum a little bit in that third down, is third and 15. Um, so I think it helped uh, just kind of set the tone for that drive. And, yeah, I think it was, just, it, was, it was just big for him and I, for sure. He rolls out on that play, and you know, that's not, not probably the way you would prefer that play to go where he's got to move that far and you're on the sidelines. But how much of – past that you two have and just that you've been on a field together for however many years impacts your ability to connect there? Yeah, it's just kind of got to go back to, you know, it's like it's just like playing in the backyard, backyard football, go go make some plays. You know, it's a, it doesn't happen the way we think it is. We're out there just kind of making plays, and I think that just the connection we have, you know, he knows I'm down there and uh, going to throw it to me and let me go go make a play. It's just like when you talk about competing with him as a high school kid, I mean, Carney and here in Council Bluffs, like he just he was just coming up to Omaha for Warren Academy stuff. Yep. What was going on there that you could perform that? Yeah, we he'd come up to Warren Academy. I remember, I remember we had a Warren Academy tryouts, and um, I didn't I didn't know who he was at the time. I was we were probably sophomores in high school, so everything was kind of booming. And uh, he was like the only kid that was throwing missiles at the camp. I was like, okay, I, want, I like I like catching with him. I want to catch with him. He's making each ball tough and challenging, and he just put it in there. So I remember that. I remember that pretty vividly, honestly. So every time he was up, I try to go up because I like just the heat that he put on the ball. So I think just throughout the years, uh, every rep that we built has uh, made a difference. As somebody who's known him for a long time, what has it meant to you to see, you know, him not making the travel roster last year to starting today playing pretty well? Oh, it means everything. I told him that today. Um, obviously, I haven't played a ton either, so. Uh, I, I told him I was proud of him, and you know it means a lot to me. And just to see him go out there and be successful, and I think today he flipped the switch. Uh, I've I've seen H in a lot of different moments, and today he just flipped the switch. He took control of the game and made the game his. I think something to build off of, and uh, I'm glad that he did that because it was he took a leadership role and ran with it. So I think he did a great job. That flipped the switch moment. Was there something like specific that you saw that he did that, or just him going out there today? Uh, I mean, nothing in specific. I think he just was very vocal, and he came up like you know, he. I think I don't know when he learned or if he learned that he got the you know the the nod for the start to dot today. I don't know what happened there, but I think you know just throughout this week and throughout today, he just you know flipped the switch the whole time and and took a huge vocal vocal role and started becoming a, becoming a, becoming a leader. And you could just see him step into that role, especially tonight. I feel like just watching your defense play right now, and also knowing. You know, if, if you do have a drive that stalls out and you give them a long field to work with, they're, they're, they're playing at a pretty high level right now. Oh, yeah, our defense is playing crazy right now. It's fun to watch them go to work, and shoot, I go against it every every day. So it's a, it's a great defense to play off of, and um, I think we have – I know we have a bunch of ballers on defense that, you know, make the game easier for us as an offense. What, what went through your mind when you caught the touchdown pass, first one at Memorial Stadium, and did, did you, did you kind of have a little – Message there when when you when you after you got that. Say oh yeah. To the crowd. Oh yeah. I mean it was a to answer your first part. It was, it was a dream come true. I mean I pretty much was born in a Huskers outfit. I think I said that before, but yeah, you know I had a little message. And I think everyone knows what it meant. I mean I'm not where I want to be. Like I've I never will be. Like I've always say, but you know it's one step every day. And you know it's kind of just you know everyone who doesn't believe in me and everyone who does. That's the only thing that matters. The people who do believe. How much has that fueled you through the last two years? It feels great. It's just a. Uh, just a 
I guess to prove my self and to prove to everybody that no matter what happens to you, you can put your mind to something. You're gonna you're gonna be great as whatever you do. If you say you're gonna, whatever you say is gonna happen. You say what you want, not what you don't want. Thanks, Thomas. All right. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah,